Now let's take a look at how to create the HTTP server in Node. As you know, Node is a runtime environment for executing JavaScript outside of the browser. So when you want to communicate with the browser, you need to work with HTTP server. When you view a web page in your browser, you are making a request to another computer on the internet, which then provides you a web page as a response. That computer you are talking to using the internet is a web server. A web server receives HTTP request from the client like your browser and provide an HTTP response like an HTTP page or JSON data from API. So let's take a look at how to create a basic HTTP server in Node. So what you need to do is you need to first import a module called HTTP. So here I'm going to say constant HTTP is equal to and as you know to import module you need to say require and in the parenthesis I'm going to say HTTP. In Node, you don't have to install HTTP module using npm because HTTP is an inbuilt module in Node. Here I'm going to specify the host name and the port where the HTTP server is going to run. So here I'm going to create a constant variable and name that variable host name. And I'm going to just specify host name in the single code. And here I'm going to say 127.0.0.1. So I'm going to specify here host address and then I'm going to specify constant port 3000. So on 3000 port, I'm going to run this HTTP server. Now just out of that, I'm going to create the HTTP server. So I'm going to create my HTTP server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create here a constant variable server and then call the HTTP module. So here I'm going to say HTTP and using the HTTP module, I'm going to call a method create server. This method is going to help us to create the HTTP server. So I'm going to call here a method HTTP server and to this server you need to pass a callback function. The callback function have two arguments. So here I'm going to create a callback function. So I'm going to pass here arrow function just like this and to this arrow function I'm going to pass two argument. First is the request and second is the response. You are free to specify any name to these parameters. The create server is going to take the request using this first parameter and return the response using this second parameter. It is always the best practice to specify request and response name to these parameters. So I'm going to specify name request and response to these parameters. Once I specify that inside this callback function right here, I'm going to say response dot status code. So I'm going to call here a property of response. And I'm going to say here equal to sign and then specify here 200. And then I'm going to say response dot set header. And to this header, I'm going to specify content type. So here I'm going to say content type. And then I'm going to specify here text plain. So I'm going to specify a content type text plain. And just after that, I'm going to say response dot end. And here I'm going to specify welcome to HTTP server. So what we are going to do is when we get the successful request from the browser, we're going to return the status code 200. We're going to set the type of content. We are going to return as a response using this set header method. And then I'm going to end the response using this output. So when the browser requests something, I'm going to return this data. You can see here using end method we return the data to the request. The end method is going to help us to end the response process. You can notice here we set the status code 200. This tells the browser everything is okay. This is the code of successful response. So here I'm going to say server dot listen. So I'm going to call a method of server and in this method I'm going to specify on which port I want to listen to the server. So here I'm going to specify port as you know we already have this variable port and then I'm going to specify the host name. So as you know we have this host name variable here. So I'm going to specify here host name. Now just out of that to the third argument to this listen method I'm going to pass the callback function. This callback function is very helpful. If the server is successfully started we're going to get this callback function console message on the terminal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify here parenthesis and call the callback function here just like this and then I'm going to specify console message and here I'm going to say console.log 
and using the backtick operator i'm going to say server running at http and then i'm going to specify the address where the server is running on so here i'm going to specify http double forward slash then call the variable name here which is host name then specify colon and then i'm going to specify here port name just like this and at the end i'm going to specify forward slash don't forget to specify semicolon save the changes so i'm going to just open my terminal and here i'm going to say node index.js and i press enter you can notice here i'm going to have a message server running at http and here is the address of the server so i'm going to just click on this link so i'm going to press ctrl and click on this link as you can notice this will open your default browser and you will have a response on your web page now this is the address of the server we have the host name and the port now to stop this http server you can just simply press ctrl c this will stop your http server and now when you try to reload your browser you will get a result something like this this site can't be reached now let me show you some tricks to create this http server so what i'm going to do is instead of creating a server variable here i'm going to get rid of this server variable right from here and i'm going to just specify this listen method right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of the server and i'm going to specify here dot and specify listen method this is also a valid statement now you can notice we use here two lines to specify status code and set the header now let me show you how you can do the same thing on a single line now, what i'm going to do is i'm going to say here response and call a method right head this method allows us to specify status code and the set header at the same time so i'm going to specify argument to this method so here i'm going to specify first argument which is the status code here i'm going to specify status code 200 and then i'm going to specify header type so what i'm going to do is i'm going to specify here object and i'm going to specify this text inside this object just like this and don't forget to get rid of this comma and specify here colon because as you know this is an object now just for that i'm going to get rid of both these lines from this server and now as you can notice we've done the same thing only in a single line and if you want to send the response independently you can do that as well what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of this text right from this end method and up here i'm going to call a method response dot write this one and to this method i'm going to pass my response just like this save the changes when i run my server it will work fine so i'm going to say here node index.js so when i press enter as you can notice my server is running at this url i'm going to just open my browser and reload the page as you can notice i have the response welcome to http server so this is how you can simply create the http server in node next we'll take a look at how to make the http request